How's it going, everybody? We are uh, doing a little ice fishing today, but it's going to be different. We're going to be using firearms, some weapons, some guns, and uh, we're going to be using those to, to put the holes in the ice to fish out of. But before that, this guy right here, haven't you guys haven't seen it, and Jablam! Guggen Squad tackle boxes and backpacks, tackle backpacks. They are now available. I will link them down below. Gun safety first, folks. You don't want that to happen. But we got this. We got the bag. It comes with free shipping and two of these tackle boxes. These are waterproof, high-quality Guggen Squad tackle boxes. Comes with two of them for free with free shipping. I will link it down below if you guys want this guy. You guys saw me rock the AP1. This one's even better, and uh, we do have a very limited quantity, so if you guys do want them before you know spring and whatnot, you better order them right now. Anyways, I'm with Josie. Where's Josie? Josie. See, guys, right here we got Josie. I'm, that's just a pen. I'm just playing. It's just a pen? <laughs> yeah. Home, I, thought, I can't afford a 50 BMG. I thought homeboy was coming to bat. So you guys know Josie here. Or I mean, we, we filmed some videos. We did the MRE challenge. We did the uh, solar eclipse challenge. And of course, you just got two guns hanging on. So let's roll a clip of uh, the previous moments we've had with Josie, you know, revolving around guns. Yeah. Interesting fella right here. So, you know, I was like, hey, let's take guns. Let's try to make holes in the ice. And he said, I'm down. So he brought a bunch of guns, a bunch of ammo. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Well, folks, Ben's here, and uh, he's driving his truck on the ice. I don't know why he's doing it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this random episode. I don't even know if we're gonna start fishing anytime soon. We still haven't even shot the ice yet. We're gonna start at the nine millimeter and work our way all the way to the shotgun. What what all what calibers do we have? We've got nine mil. Nine mil. Yep. What else? Uh, five five six. Five five six. Three oh eight. And twelve gauge. And a twelve gauge shotgun. Slugs too. So we're gonna start with the pistols and kind of work our way up and just see if we can get through the ice. As you saw, we drove the truck out on the ice, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. But I'm up for the challenge. Here we go. Do you think we made it? I think I see a bass below that hole. Yeah. Go, try again. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go check out. Bye. Let's go check out the damage. Oh! What do we got? Do we have a hole? Oh! You got down about an inch. Not not quite, but uh, not bad. We're gonna we're gonna keep shooting the same the same uh, spot and see if we can finally get a hole here. Here we go, two, two, three. Oh God, I just got hit with something. <laughs> See, I told you, this is why you wear this mask. Protection first. We get it. Oh, oh. we almost got it. Got a little trigger happy on that one. It's cleared out. How deep we got? We're getting there. <laughs> All right, we're looking about four inches deep. We've got another six or seven to go, I guess. Making a long, a long hole, not just a straight down hole. 308 time. 180 grain. 308 coming in hot. All right, we'll check her out. If we were fishing on like four inches of ice, we'd be fine. For, for all you haters out there, all right, we're not shooting lead rounds right now. We went to the gun store, the ammo store, and bought higher end non-lead rounds. So don't brass. 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 Yeah, we're shooting brass. So don't worry about getting lead in the water. Brass yeah. for the bass. Yeah. All right, let's see. There's, you can see all the all the BBs down in here. We're still not breaking through. Oh God! Do we? I wish we were on a normal lake. We would totally be through. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't think I'd get that far down. I mean, we're doing good. Jeez. Yeah, I think keep doing the 308 and you'd get through. I think so too. All right, we still haven't done it. I just took off my hoodie because I'm really, really sweaty right now. It's it's actually really warm out. Unfortunately, we decided to come and try this on a day where there's a foot of ice, but we're gonna try one last shot to uh, to break through and catch a fish through the hole. Oh, you did it! You Woo! did it! Oh, he did it! He did it! Oh my god, look at this! Look at this! Dude, you... I mean... Oh 
<laughs> right through it. All the way through, you did it. Look at that big hole, dude. That's perfect size, man. All right, That's we gotta fish. try to catch a bat. We gotta try to catch something through there, for sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Drop. We'll drop the Vex down. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Well, folks, we made it to the hole. Drop a little jig head down. I'm gonna drop the drop the fish finder and see if we can see if we can mark it. I have no idea how deep it is. We just picked a random spot to shoot. But we're gonna find out. Well, the fire pond guy showed up. Yep. He's yep. just he's just hanging. I'm over here. We're only in a couple feet of water, and I managed to misplace all my live wax worms. So my probability of actually catching a fish is not all that high right now. But we're gonna try it for a few minutes, and then we're actually gonna go to the other side of the lake and try to catch some bass because that's what's important. A few moments later. Oh, oh, oh! Oh God, there's a fish! Oh God, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Oh God, oh God! He ripped it out of my hands. He ripped it out of my hands. Don't tell me you dropped it. Don't tell me you dropped it. No! Dude, did you see him rip it out of my hands? Yeah. I was not expecting that. All right, drop back down there. Is the minnow still on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. No, oh, I messed up. That was, that was me being stupid. I was just trying to play it easy to feel him, and all of a sudden, he yanked it, took off, and felt me. Yeah. Let go. All right, boys. That's a start. That's the shallow one. That's good. They're down there. That was a bass for sure. Two hours later. He's not running. He's there, he's there. Got him, got him, got him biggin'. Whoa, God, oh, yes, oh. yes! He came off, come here, come here! Boy! Boy. Oh, baby! That's a good one. Look at that, son! We just said the sip about like two minutes ago. We moved spots, you guys see it's cloudy. We've been out here for like an hour. Freaking chunker, dude. On the minnow, not even very deep. This guy's been caught before, he's actually got a little hole, but you see them, the nice little lipstick on there. That's when you're catching them cold water fish. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it feels so good. Finally, we are actually really close. You guys can see right over there is where we shot the hole. So I'm actually gonna start jigging over there some more, but right there, baby, nice little largey. Oh, baby, back in the water, Gracie goes. Absolutely incredible. We were way down there. We, we shut the hole here, fished for a minute, nothing. Moved down there for an hour. I had a couple come off. Came back here, set this down for like two minutes and uh, and had that decent fish. This is the biggest bass, biggest bass I've caught this year through the ice. Hit right here. So we're gonna set up another tip up and uh, see if we can catch more fish. We actually are hungry though. So before we maybe catch another fish, I don't know. We're gonna make some MREs. You guys know Josie, he's the MRE guy. We had an MRE challenge, so we're gonna eat some MREs. If you guys don't know what MREs are, meals ready to eat, it's what the military eats, so we're gonna eat some. All right, we got uh, beef shredded and barbecue sauce. Spaghetti with beef and sauce, that's Austin. Oh yeah. Chili and macaroni, that's flair. Beauty. And that leaves Josie with pork sausage patty. Maple pork. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Got the old MRE. What do I got? What do I got? I got a uh, chili and mac, all right. Oh, oh I got Skittles! Aw, oh, y'all are suckers. I got Skittles. So, we got Skittles. We got spoons. We got some... Uh, Cheese jalapeno spread, that's key. What else we got? We got some beef snack strips. Dude, I'm just killing the game here. What else I got? I, I don't know what that is. Probably the chili mac or something. We got um, trans fat free vanilla pound cake, hey! <laughs> Orange powdered flavored soda something. Now you did it, Bill. Vegetable cracker. And that's it, folks, here we go. Tortilla and cheese. How is it? Horrible. <laughs> what are you eating? Cranberry slice. Is it good? It's pretty good. Cranberry slice. We, we forgot the water bottle, which is what you need for an MRA. So we're just gonna, you know, utilize what we've got, which is a, uh, a lake. You know, that's that's what we're doing. So here we go. Dip some water in it. We've got professional MRE eater, Josie. Come rescue. 
How's that looking? A little much, but we'll be good. Be all right? Be all right, yeah. Yeah, that's about good. So what you do is you put the water in it, and then you uh, put your main meal in it, you seal it up, and there's like a chemical reaction with the little hot pocket thing that's in there. And uh, we're heating up Austin's right now. I already got mine going, got the old Chili Mac. We're gonna do a little taste test in here. It smells like dog food. Tastes about like dog food, yeah. But you know, you're out, you're out here in the elements. We got nothing else to eat, so. All right, right here, we got a vegetable cracker and cheese jalapeno uh, bag cheese or something. Looking, at, looking absolutely delicious. Not bad. A little bit better than the jerky, but it's a little dry. I definitely need something to wash it down with. Look at that, baby. Absolute just gooey goodness. It's probably still cold. Oh, yeah. It's colder now than when I got it out of the car. <laughs> it doesn't taste that bad other than the fact that it's almost frozen. Mmm. Real delicious. Mm -hmm. Boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ending the day. How, how'd you like that? Was that fun? That was fun. That was I, interesting. I was the only one that caught a fish. We got one fish. It yeah. kind of sucked. I'm just day. surprised that we shot through the ice. I know, right? We shot through the ice. We just drove a truck on the ice and then shot through the ice. It was absolutely incredible. Just a fun, you know, a for fun day. Obviously, we didn't catch a ton of fish. So if you guys were looking to watch this, to learn and watch me catch a bunch of fish, I apologize. I mean, we, we did fish. It's it's now like 3.30 and we got out of here like at below before noon, uh, like 11.30 or so. So we, we spent some time just couldn't figure out where the fish were, but had some fun shooting some guns. Josie, Austin, the fire pond guy, actually, he already took off. He had to go home and do some homework because he stayed in school because he's, he's a smart child. But I'm going to end the video here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you want to see, see something like this again, you know, not necessarily shooting through the ice, but just, just stupid stuff, you know. Comment it down below, whatever you want to see. You know, we got the man Josie here with all the all the connections with all the dope guns. And uh, and I will be purchasing some, some cool guns here coming up in a week or so. So be looking out for that. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment down below. What else do you want to see? What other stupid stuff do you want to see us do? Because that's what we do on this channel. Stupid stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace!